All right, and welcome to module two of the Intelligent Sales Machine Program. In this module, we're going to introduce you to the first part of your perpetual product research system that we talked about in module one. That's right, we're going to dive deep into the 4S product process, beginning with the search phase, to give you a way to think about your product research system. I liken the process to the building of a house. I call this the research house. Now, before you ask, no, I'm not an architect, so this house will be very, very simple indeed. All right, so each part of the house represents a part of our research system. What's the first thing that every house needs to keep it from falling down? That's right, it needs a foundation. The search phase that I'm about to reveal to you will form the foundation of your business. Now, once we have our foundation in place, we've got to build the frame of the house, which includes the walls. You can think of building the frame and the walls as the shortlist phase, which we'll dive into in the next module. Once we have the walls built, we need to decorate the house. We do this by adding in the select phase, where we look at the overall market for your item and its profitability. Finally, we put the roof on the house in the source phase. In this phase, we're looking at how investable our researched items are, as well as determining how aggressive we want to be as a product investor. We'll end this part of the process by deciding on the products we're going to sell, as well creating our product brand, our product's packaging. We finish this phase by placing an order with the supplier. Now that you know what we're going to do when we research, it's critical to mention that this process never ends. That's why I call it your perpetual product research system. The reason that this process never ends is because we must continue to fuel our business with new products. These really are the engine behind our company's growth. You see, if we don't keep on filling our product research pipeline, then we're eventually going to find ourselves in a position where we have capital available to invest, but we don't have any product ideas researched and ready to purchase. This is not a good place to be. Why? Because we'll end up making poor decisions. We'll have money burning a hole in our pocket and we'll rush through the research process. This type of behavior will result in selling items that you really should never have sold, which in turn leads to frustration and a lack of profit. I never want you to be in this position. So as you can see, the, the cure is an ongoing process that's very simple. Always research and always have product ideas ready to go. One thing that you'll hear me talk about over and over again is what I call front-loaded work. You see, most Amazon sellers go about this business the wrong way. They bring in any old product and believe that outstanding marketing will be the thing that gets them results. When you work with me, you'll go the other way. Instead of spending all that time marketing and trying to push your product, you'll instead do a lot of upfront research which will uncover opportunities that don't require any marketing outside of Amazon to become successful. Why? Because there are tens of thousands of people looking for these items every day, week and month. This is the secret to success. It works because we're always fulfilling demand. We never want to try to create it. Instead, we want to find products consumers are looking for, create a better offer, and as I say, lie down in front of the money. As I'm sure you can tell, I'm doing everything I can to really sell you on this concept of upfront work and research and being strategic about every item you sell on Amazon. I want you to be well prepared and start basing your decisions on your research before you even consider selling an item. So let me give you some other key points to remember as you invest your time and effort in this process. Firstly, I want you to think of yourself as an investor who is creating and building real assets. That's right, you're no longer a seller on Amazon. You're an investor who's looking to build assets that make money while you're sleeping, playing golf, or enjoying a family vacation. Next, remember, you only have to do this entire research process once for every product that you end up selling. Once it's done, you'll simply enjoy selling it and monitoring the sales of that item. You certainly won't be spending every waking hour trying to push it with tactical behavior that returns questionable results at best. Next, and this is a key point, this research process removes much of the risk associated with starting to sell a product. The times I've had products that didn't get me the results I wanted were when I sold items that weren't put through this research process. Many times I got lazy and complacent, and as a result, only broke it even on those products. From now to the end of time, commit to following every step of this process and don't skip 
this crucial step. Another huge benefit is that you're going to know the item's exact profitability before you even consider investing. This will give you comfort in the knowledge that you know you'll be at least doubling your item's profit every time a unit sells. You can become wealthy very quickly by selling something that keeps doubling your original capital. Finally, the fact of the matter is that more products equals more sales, and more sales equals more money, and more profit equals more wealth for you. Commit to getting as many items up and selling as possible, and you'll do extremely well with this. So you're likely wondering then, how does the 4S product process actually work? I mean, all this theory is fine, but I'm sure you're ready to dive in and start actually researching and doing this upfront work, right? Well, the good news is that we're ready to get started with the search phase. By the end of this module, you'll have a list of products that are viable, or in other words, you'll identify a list of products that you can sell and will avoid researching products that are gonna cause you difficulty down the line. I've been in the position before where I purchased a product and started selling it, only to find that it was actually something that I should never have sold on Amazon. You'll avoid that here immediately.